This video will focus on precision and describe four main types of precision. At its core, precision is a measure of how well replicate measurements agree with one another. You might think of precision only as how well you can repeat a process in the lab and come out with the same results, but that is only one type of precision that can be determined. This video will outline four main types of precision. Instrument precision, intra-assay precision, intermediate precision, and interlaboratory precision. First, we'll look at instrument precision. Instrument precision is trying to answer the question, how reproducible is the measurement that comes from an instrument? In measuring instrument precision, a single scientist performs a single experiment. However, at the very last step, the scientist will take multiple measurements using the same instrument. Instrument precision is usually a very small number and might arise from variations in the amount of sample placed in the instrument or in the instrument's response, depending on the type of instrument. If the instrument precision is poor or gives a large variation in the readings, then the instrument might need to be recalibrated or have other maintenance performed. To summarize, instrument precision provides the reproducibility of the measurement of the instrument and requires that a single sample prepared by a single scientist be measured by a single instrument. Next, we'll define intra-assay precision. Intra means within, so this precision answers the question, how reproducible is the measurement within the assay? Or how reproducible is the scientist when performing the experiment? For intra-assay precision, the same scientist performs the same procedure multiple times on the same day. Each time, the scientist uses an aliquot of the same starting sample and makes the measurement using the same instrument, so the end result is expected to be quite similar. Since this method ass assesses the precision of a repeated experiment, intra-assay precision is sometimes called repeatability. To summarize, intra-assay precision, or repeatability, measures the reproducibility of the experiment and requires that the same experiment is performed multiple times by the same scientist on the same day using aliquots of the same sample with the final measurement being made by the same instrument. The third type of precision is intermediate precision. Intermediate precision is sometimes called ruggedness and quantifies how reproducible a measurement is when an experiment is performed multiple times within the same laboratory. To determine intermediate precision, different scientists working in the same laboratory perform the same procedure using aliquots from the same sample. However, they might perform the experiment on different days. They might also use different instruments to make the same final measurements. Because there are even more sources of variation in this setup, intermediate precision is often called ruggedness and is expected to be higher or less precise than intra-assay precision. This is important for laboratories with many scientists and multiple instruments where it is unlikely that the same person or same instrument will be used for all of one type of analysis. To summarize, intermediate precision or ruggedness measures the reproducibility of measurements across a laboratory. The same experiment procedure is performed by different scientists on different days and the final measurement being made by potentially different instruments. However, um, all of these variables are contained within a single laboratory. The final type of precision is interlaboratory precision. Experiment protocols are often shared across multiple laboratories, so interlaboratory precision answers the question of how reproducible is the experiment when it is performed by different laboratories? To accomplish this, aliquots of the same sample are sent to each laboratory. The same protocol is used by each laboratory to analyze the samples. However, the samples are analyzed on different days by different scientists, and the end results are measured by different instruments. This is often the least precise of the four types covered in this video, 
but having a small interlaboratory precision is especially important for companies with multiple quality control laboratories, since they need to be sure the results are the same no matter which laboratory is doing the testing. In summary, interlaboratory precision requires that the same sample be analyzed using the same protocol by multiple scientists across multiple laboratories. These analyses can be done on different days with different instruments. The end results will determine the reproducibility across a system of laboratories. While there are more possible experimental designs that can measure precision of specific parts of a protocol, this video has covered the four main types of precision. Thanks for watching.